14 year history, the Red Bull X Fighters has never been to South Africa until now. To celebrate its 50th event, South Africa hosted the X Fighters in front of the Union buildings in Pretoria. An incredibly positive vibe and African flavor motivated the riders and they didn't disappoint. For Levi Sherwood, his dream of a second World Tour Championship title would be dashed after he crashed in the qualification round and injured his ankle. Nevertheless, he came out in round one to test the waters, but unfortunately was not able to ride the run he wanted and is eliminated from contention. I got in down yesterday qualifying was um, really disappointing for me. It's, it's um, pretty rough, but you know, at least I had to do was go out there and um, just put on a show. I wanted to be a part of this 50th round of Red Bull X Fighters. Thomas Pages came out charging in the quarterfinal, rocking his incredible vault right away, but he too was bitten by bad luck and crashed his flare tsunami and is also eliminated early in competition. In semi number one, Remy Bazois rode a confident heat, nailing all his tricks and putting the pressure on the shoulders of his direct competitor in the head-to-head, -head, Danny Torres. Danny didn't let it affect him and rode a textbook run, defeating the Frenchman and advancing to the final in his record-breaking 41st start on the Red Bull X-Fighters Tour. In semi-final number two and on fire, Adam Jones had the audience on their feet, dropping an amazing cliffhanger flip and his incredible rigor mortis. Riding first in that head-to-head -head meant he had to watch Josh Sheehan take his run, and Sheeny made it happen in a big way. He roared with confidence, pulling a flare Indy, and then the double backflip and more to secure his spot in the final against Danny. Danny came out firing on all cylinders and rode a near-perfect run in the final. As he has done so many times in past, Master Torres made it clear he was not going to go away easily. Now it was up to Josh to see if he could repeat the run of earlier and even step it up a notch, but immediately he made an uncharacteristic mistake landing very long and needing to collect himself to continue his run. He did so and then some, pulling the flare Indy, a 360 up neck and the double backflip seemingly with ease leaving no doubt he would be the winner. Josh Sheehan commandingly wins his first event in South Africa to close the 2014 season and celebrate the 50th event in tour history. I'm just overwhelmed, hey? I'm so happy, it's a uh, dream come true. I've been wanting this for years and I didn't think it'd be possible when I was younger, so it's just such an honour and privilege to be up here now. In addition to the event win in Pretoria, Sheehan also wins his first World Tour Championship title and will head into next season as the man everyone will be chasing. That will be another story for the history books.